so loud. Wow. Right, so it is shark week. And we are going to do the bearings on the Kenmore Elite Smart Wash Quiet Pack. HE5T. It is very loud. Very, very loud. Hey, look at that, they do. This one's hot. This one's cold. And they are gunked up. Yummy. Alright, we're gonna start by taking out these torque heads. There's a the peel. We'll zip all those out first. We're going to pull the roof off. Shark Week's back on. Be right back. Alright, you're going to hear some rumbling. That's because the little tiny ceiling fan on the ceiling is uh, a little off balance. It's a little out of kilter. So it makes a lot of racket. Oh boy, this is a... This is a lot. Alright. Next step is to take all these screws out the back. Look at all those. Some of these are different. You gotta keep track of which ones are different. This one on this hole is the fine thread. So that's interesting to know. Which means this one probably is too. Yep, that one is too. It's also the fine thread. Take this hose clamp off. Alright, so these all need to go on here, right? Because these are all the same size. Yep. So these fine thread ones. Oh no. See these fine thread ones? I just put ah, uh, okay. Those go here. Those go. Okay, so, so your memory and my memory about between the two of us, we ought to be able to remember that. Okay, fine, big, fine, big, 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 fine. Okay. All right, brain two. All right, so I'm going to disconnect these connections here. Pretty much just that one. Different. Let's 
Still a lot of water? Yeah. Mm, there we go. All right. I'll continue taking the back off. Back of the machine off. Okay. Hey, Chip. Ew. You chips off the floor. Oh, you know. Gross. <laughs> I just ate them. Nasty. Ow. It's nasty. Once again, we're wearing a Rio Bella shirt. <laughs> Video. Oh, Lord. Alright, this is the, oh, probably gonna need a towel under here. This will only get wet. This is the big thing off the bottom. This is the big drain. Hey. Oh, look at that. Is that like a filter? No, nope, it's just a rubber. It's got a ball in it that floats, I guess, that shuts it off. That's kind of neat, kind of a ball valve. Uh, kind of like... The uh, suction thing outside for the drain. Yep, exactly. Hmm. Springs back up. We're gonna need a bigger boat. All right, take the drive belt off. We need just pliers. Hopefully, we don't need another belt. Okay? Yeah, actually, it's pretty good. Pretty hey. amazing considering how old it is. Yep. We probably. We should get another belt since we got it on the part, but it hasn't been too hard to get to this point. Yeah. Right, so I found this. First try, first try. Are you back in Shark Week? Give it to the dogs. Thank you. Disconnect the ground off of this thing. Oh, wow, that's tough. What one broke? All right, here's the motor. We're gonna go around front and disconnect it. I think so. Motor's down. Well, only one smash finger so far. So I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing so far, but cleaned all this out. Opened this thing up. This is some sort of drain cleaner out or something like that. Ugh, gross.
do. Yeah, it's leaking out like crazy. It's definitely a mess. This is the worst part so far. Goodness gracious. There we go. Woo. That was a pain. Can you see where this wire runs? Where are you? Are you uh, down here? Hang on. Okay. Can you see where this wire goes by any chance? Oh, wait. There we go. There we go. Oh, okay. I see it. Okay. And it, but it all looks like it goes... Oh, hang on, babe. Okay. I need a... Let's see if I can see it with the camera. And it is... A star. Yeah, it looks like a star. Let's see if that works. No, it's good. It's good. And it is this uh, round-headed fine thread star. There you go. Make sure we got all that. Make sure you see how it's threaded through here. Happy, it's happy. down there. <clears throat> Do that small area. All right. That's out of the way. Next is probably gonna end up having to disconnect that I imagine next is the shock things gotta take all these shock things out I'm trying real hard not to is there something down here you're supposed to loosen to get it to turn on the bottom of it? Uh -uh. Seems like a pretty significant part. It is. It's what keeps the it's what Yeah. Like a shock. Yeah, like a shock. Alright, I'll pour those out. That was the hardest part. This is the easiest to disconnect it right there. There you go. So these are the two wires. The blue one is on top. Just so we know. And then that comes out there. And then that comes out there. Okay. And then we'll disconnect this here. With a pair of pliers. These rubber hoses are very sticky. Look at that. That's interesting. Yeah. Must be two of these two different things. All right, drill. Spread them legs. Spread them legs. <laughs> Dirty. Right. Drill? Drill is behind. No, it's right here. So easy to hook them out. Did you do it down here? Okay, on top. Let's see if I can go in there. 
Ouch, my toe. Okay, can I hold this one and you? You can try. Oh, or not. Oh. Oh. I don't know what that, that was. That was the spine. Okay. Okay. Oh, that sounds not good. Lord have mercy. You freaking eating on there? Pissed if we took this whole thing apart to fix it and uh, broke it, broke something along the way. Would you be surprised? Good grief, I'm pretty sure that's concrete. I am pretty sure that is concrete. It is concrete. Yeah, that's concrete. Okay, trying to make this a little green. <clears throat> All right, we got the drum out. That's how I do. I'm gonna take this yes. big nut off. It scared me. I didn't know what it was. Oh, the noise? Yeah. 15 sixteenths on there. All these clips off. All those clips. I'm kind of surprised there's not near as many screws and stuff as I thought there would be. You know. Yeah. Hold them all this stuff together. Okay, what am I doing? We are taking each one of these clips off. You just push it up. Really just stick it in there and you think probably need a flat head. That's yeah. not gonna work, is it? We can use pliers. We can use pliers. There's another pot head. Okay. This is going to go inside of it like this. It makes it real simple. Fly apart. It's going to fly apart, but it is going to come apart. I'm going to get these back on. Oh my gosh. Sit so down like this and hit it with a hammer. <laughs> what you doing, guys? Hi, Ricey. We all done. <laughs> This thing up real good. Thank you. 
Oh my gosh, you have got to video this nastiness. Another reason why I'd never have one of these again. Look at that. It is disgusting. This is a washing machine. This is supposed to like be cleaning your clothes. This is actually where the rim is. Look. Yeah, that's where the rubber. See, look at this nastiness. Look at that. This is why they stink so bad. It's yep. disgusting. Yep. And there's no way you could ever get all that out. Oh, there's no. no way. Nope. I don't care how many times. Well, now you can. Well, yeah, but who wants to freaking do that? All right, so we're to the point where we need to get this, the, the drum, the stainless drum, out. I took the concrete block off, the cast concrete off, uh, just because it was so heavy and it was only three bolts and it just seemed like it was gonna make things a little easier to be able to move it around. So under normal circumstances, you would probably find a snap ring or something here. This looks like an updated model. I don't see a snap ring. So my plan is to do the old mechanics trick. I'm gonna thread this nut on backwards. I'm gonna elevate it and I'm gonna hit it with a hammer until it falls out. washing machine this is washer and dryer set can't do anything without bleeding I bleed constantly but look at the nasty oh it's terrible yep I am probably going to have to take this thing outside and pressure wash it that is that is disgusting Wow, wow, wow. All right, well, we gotta move on to the bearing removal now. Let's get these bearings out of this thing and the cleanup is gonna take longer than the disassembly did. Good grief. So next is removing this seal. I'm gonna need a pry bar. I don't know if that's just it's just not going to come flopping out of there, so I'm going to go get me a pry bar. So, per, per my beautiful wife's request, I wanted to show you that. Look at the nastiness. This is exactly why they smell so bad. Yep. Now, granted, this machine is like 10 years old, probably yeah, 12, I mean, 15 old. years old. It's old. But dang. Mustang. That is disgusting. Yep, that is really, really gross. So that's going outside for a pressure washing because that is terrible. Where are we at? We just got the seal out. This is what's left of the bearing. Look at that, would you? Look at that. It's just like pieces of it. There's no wonder. That's all like worn through, right? Yeah, that's just. Grab that other bearing so I can show what the comparison is. This one? The big one, yeah. Is that the big one? Here's the, here's the new bearing versus the old bearing. This is, uh, that is a cast iron part right there. Well, you know what? It actually looks like it might be kind of part of it. Maybe that little screwdriver, a little flathead. That looks like it's that is not eaten through. Yep, that is. Oh, that's a hole. Oh 
God. That's a hole that was there for some particular reason. I don't know what. Maybe a weep hole of some sort. But it is not. I thought, man, I thought that whole thing had come apart. All right, cool. Golly. We're back in business, baby. We're back in business. I'm like, literally, look at this. Look at this. I'm gonna move. Look at this. I mean, we have torn this thing apart. Ugh, that is so gross. Look at that. Anyway, yep. all of this madness in here, almost for no reason. Kitty, get out of there. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna take it outside and pressure wash it all. <sighs> you ready to do that? That was scary. That was scary. That was definitely. I don't like those moments. I was definitely worried about that, but. Getting a little too spicy. <laughs> I don't like spicy. All right, All right. let's pressure wash it. Slower. A little grindy, huh? A little grindy. See if you can hear it. Oh, that's going to hurt. Ew. That was definitely. This one, I think, is okay. <gasps> this was worse. Ugh. Uh, Gross. You know, so. Yep, these are no good, no mo. Yeah. Tremendously. I don't know if this is a well water thing or a. I, I don't know. I don't know, but everything is just disgustingly filled with just grossness. And it's, uh, it's so bad. Look at that. All right, so we got the areas cleaned up for the bearings to ride in. Both sides, I'm gonna nail that sucker in there. Look at that two by four fits perfectly. So we're gonna do the inner bearing here first, and we'll flip it over and do the outer bearing. Time to put them back together. We have our new seal. <sighs> Cut the outside with a little grease.
keep repping. All right, we got that in there. Very easy. Now we shall do the seal. I do not know what all that's about. I do not know what all that is about, senor. What are you doing, Bryce? Why are you making all that weird racket? What do you want? What are you doing? Seal, bearing, done. Get some water. Oh, you are a strange animal. You know that? Strange dog indeed. More grease. High temperature axle grease because I work on cars mostly and tractors and boilers and motorhomes. Just kidding. All right, that should be good. Same thing here. What are you doing, strange dog? 